Hey guys, it's Anne. Just checking up on the experimental worm bins, the African night crawlers in the limited space experiment. So I'm gonna start from the bottom up, and this is the smallest of the areas. And so I'm just gonna take a quick look and see if I can find anybody. And There's only, you know, 20 worms in here, so they do often manage to play hide-and-seek from me. Well, provided that I find anybody still alive in here, I will uh, feed them today. Oop, there one. Here we go, buddy. Not looking super uh, energetic here at all. But there's one. Wait, there's another one. I think that's just one. There's the two of them. But it is right at 60 degrees in here, so it is really kind of cold for their... Oop, there's another one. Yay, we're up to three. I think I may have broken up the party here. Oops, sorry guys. Ooh, here's another one. These guys are like ninjas, I swear. All right, well, like I said, these are not the most vigorous happy worms I have ever seen in my life. But I'm gonna put everybody back. And uh, my policy on experiments is they are what they are. You know, once you start, you can't change the parameters. So I put that many worms in here to begin with. And so that is what I'm going to do. But, you know, the food I did feed them last time is gone. So maybe they just need some lunch. Okay, we are going to feed this bin. This is my official second feeding of the experimental bin. So I'm going to put the camera down here. And then I'm going to feed them each a cup, each of these bins, a cup of my pureed food, um, which is a combination of honestly bananas and apples and all that with some eggshells and coffee grinds and, and all that um, and then I'm just going to cover it up there we go Okay, this is bin number two. Uh, temperature is right at 60 degrees for the medium bin. Um, so first gonna take a peek at these guys and see if we can find anybody being home. Of course, that would be ideal. But the uh, ANCs are just a little sneaky. Sometimes I don't have the best time finding them. Luckily I'm not alone in uh, that problem. Ooh, okay. Right. One-handed it is. Okay, so still looking for my little buddies in here. Hard to, these bins are not completely shallow, but they are very narrow, so it's kind of hard to... Oops, hey, found somebody. Hello. There you go. Well, again, he's wiggling, but he's 
he's not super awesome happy. I don't know how I'm ever, ever going to see any of the cocoons in this bin. The leaves are so dark. Um, yeah, when I did the harvest on the other A and C bin earlier this week, I found one and there was, you know, hundreds and hundreds of worms in there. God knows how I'm gonna find it. Whoop, there we go. Worm number two. Oh, wait, and worm number three. Why, why is that one so short? I don't remember having a short one. Huh, are they shrinking? What is going on with that? Man, I don't know. At 60 degrees, I don't know, you guys. You, Give me some advice here. Should I put these guys back upstairs where it's at least 65? I don't know. I mean, clearly they're looking pretty, pretty apathetic there. And kind of, I swear to God, they weren't that small before. Um, I don't know. Do the worms shrink? Oh, hey, there we go. Couple more. Probably the same ones I looked at before. Those are normal size. All right, so, although that's not everybody, I'm gonna call that good. Um, let me know what you think about the whole, should I take them back upstairs because of the temperature thing? And then also, what do you think the deal is? Do you think they shrunk? Or what do you think happened there? I was pretty sure to get um, full-grown, mature worms. I don't know. I'm going to bury the food kind of deep because that's that seems to be where I'm finding everybody, so I'm not going to try and shoot myself in the foot and put the food where I can't even find the worms. All right, now we'll go up to the uh, biggest bin. Okay, so this is the bin with the largest amount of bedding in it. I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna have to look back at everybody's notes to see how long they had planned on this experiment going, but see if I can even find anybody in this one. Still feels a little dry. I'm gonna definitely give them a, a spritz of water after we're all done here. Provided, you know, like I said, either way, my policy on experiments in general is I'm just gonna let it run the course and, oops, there we go. Found somebody at home. There we go. See if I can find any of your friends. That's the substrate. So, pretty much shot myself in the foot picking the darkest substrate with the worms who produce cocoons that are so dark you can't find them, even in shredded paper. Hell, I can't even find the worms. Okay, I found one worm. I shouldn't be completely defeated. But unlike everybody else who started with like four or five or ten, I've got 20 in here. Somewhere. So I'm almost thinking that if I'm going to get anything as far as results where I can even measure them, I'm thinking I'm probably going to have to go for a very long time. Um, so if it gets to be the end of the experiment, you know, I'll count worms or weigh worms or whatever like everybody else does, but for my own sanity and 
knowledge, I think I will probably let this run for probably a year. And I did put the grit in there already, or the eggshells. All right, well, that is the update on the experimental worm bins. Um, super boring. Quite a few no-shows in the worm department. And, uh, but let me know what you think about the temperature. Should I bring them upstairs? And, uh, yeah, so please comment, especially if you're taking part in the experiment. Let me know what you guys think. All right, thanks, guys. Uh, thanks for hanging out with me and the worms, and see you guys later.